2012-2013 audit presentation. We have representatives from Henderson and Gobby present. We'll accept that presentation now. Okay. Um, I passed out a copy of the audit report uh, from June 30th, 2012. Also uh, passed out a comparative financial analysis worksheet that goes over the last three years, compared 2012 to the last three years. And really, we'd just like to go over some of the, the highlights from uh, comparing 2012 to 2011. Like I say, we added 2010 and 2009, just so you can see it as well. Um, overall, total revenues were down from 2011 about $36,000. And I know some of this, I think Mr. Uh, Tom has, Davis is going with, with you guys as well. Just, excuse me just one moment. For the record, give us your names, please. I'm Craig King with Henderson and Godby. Okay. Mark Rogers. Thank you. Thank you, Craig Mark. Uh, the operating expenses for 2012 uh, overall was down about, um, excuse me, were up about $36,000, which puts the operating income down from 2011 about $73,000. The uh, non-operating expenses you can see there comparing the interest income, interest expense, the interest expense was down about $13,000 from what it was in 2011. We had two items in 2012 that we did not have in the prior year, which was a gain, uh, excuse me, the loss on disposable assets. We also had a loss on the expiration of a land purchase option that was um, expense in 2012. Uh, overall, the 2012 change in net assets uh, was up about $386,000. You can see comparatively for the 2011 year, it was about 811000 that, that is a, a brief, I like I said, I know you've already received the audit report. It was for the formal presentation tonight to, to go over and if there are any questions that you may have over the financial statements or... Might I add that the, the audit, the actual audit report, it was an unqualified opinion and that's one of the first things you want to look for in an audit is unqualified opinion. So, um. Does anyone have any questions or comments on the audit report? Mr. Davis? Anyone? Jerry? Jerry had a question about the audit. Do you remember that? No, Jerry. That was just Steve. You want to present his question? And Jerry Jeanette, one of our board members, one of the questions that he had was um, there's a statement that talks about overall from a small business operation to the lack of internal controls. So I wanted you to give more feedback and answers to that. And we say that a lot in, in small businesses and small governments. We see a uh, lack of internal control a good bit. Um, you know, we before we do an audit, we have to assess the risk and we have to go in and assess the internal controls of the operations. And, you know, in an uh, organization of this size, you're going to have lack of internal controls. Um, you look at your cost benefit, it, I don't know how many it would take to overcome that uh, lack of internal controls. Or, or segregation of duties, um, but if it's too, you know, that's too many. Um, we switch around jobs as we can. I know that y'all do that. You try to make the organizational better. But there's always going to be that segregation of duties. Um, yeah, it doesn't hurt to go through and look at at the organization and see where we can improve it because it is a process, an internal control is a process that you try to make better every time but that finding is probably going to be there with you for a while um, until you outgrow it. Mr. Rogers I think the, the crux of the question is does the lack of internal control pose any discernible risk to the entity? Um, th there is a risk you know because you know otherwise you know, if you didn't have a segregation, I mean, if you had adequate segregation of duties, there is that risk. Um, there are 
other factors that sometimes negate some of those um, you know, detection risk um, um, or detection controls. But um, you know, in your situation, you've got pretty good controls in place. To, but they're just not adequate segregation. So, you know, do I think there's a, a risk that a material transaction is going to transpire that you're not going to catch? No, I don't. I don't believe that. So, um, other than the segregation, in, in your professional opinion, have we minimized that risk? Right. Okay. Absolutely. Even if you had more people and the segregation of duties, you know, was not a finding anymore, right. there's still going to be a level of risk okay. that you're going to have. And if Jerry uh, would like to discuss this with us, we're, we're open at any point in time to discuss that with any member of the board. Absolutely. And I guess the final question would be, uh, in your opinion, have we as a board acted as a reasonable board to minimize that risk? Yes. Okay. Yes. Any other questions, comments? I, I do think we have increased it, increased our internal checkpoints and, and double checking recently, yeah. even more than in the past. Is that true? Yeah, one of the additional things that we took on after going through our audit was um, implementing, we've always had an expense report, but we've just upped that level of expense report mm -hmm. and streamlining it, you know, document it so that um, there are signatures and double glances at looking at it to add, make sure that we're categorizing it completely and that we have all, we've always had our checks and balances in place, but we're just streamlining it more for our staff to make it more efficient. Okay. The, uh, net assets, you know, we've said something for 9,000, but looking at our balance sheet, for April 30th, 2013 shows 20, uh, 27 million. And is that the difference? Under the, the net assets, is that? I'm sorry, um, you're looking at 2013 numbers? Well, I was just, just trying to get a feel for how you arrive at the net assets. Um, the net assets would be your total assets, which is at, at June 30th was uh, $26 million, and your liabilities were about. Uh, was it 15 million? So that, that, I mean, that's what I thought. That's right. That's, that's right. That's right. That's right. And we should clarify that. I mean, your your net assets were 10 million 842. You know, when we're sitting here talking about a 30 thousand dollar swing, we're not talking about a lot of money right. on, on these type uh, numbers. I mean, you look, you compare those numbers to the prior years, it, you're pretty well in, in line. Mr. Gupta? Yes, sir. Um, we've heard the presentation from the auditors. Um, is this an item that requires action on part of this board? I do not believe so. Don't we have to vote? I think we have to vote to accept the audit. Well, do we have to vote to accept the audit? I think it would be customary to do that, to accept, accept the audit as, as presented. Yes, sir. Okay. I, you I think we should. I'll make that motion. We have a motion. We have a second. We have a motion second to accept the audit as presented. All in favor, raise your right hand. <coughs> thank you. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Can we be excused this time? Sure. You thank may you. be excused. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank, thank you. You, you want to hang around and see what goes on? <laughs> We're going to want him to continue. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We have the...